Hey guys! I just realised this will be the first time you've seen my Christmas background if you haven't been watching my vlogs. Which of course you have, I know you have. Why haven't you been watching them? I'm really enjoying doing Vlogmas and yeah, it's a terrible tacky background. I'm sorry if this is going to annoy you. They're not straight. I'm sorry! And we have Drunken Christmas Tree. He's been on the gin and tonics again. Good man, good man, give me a shake. So, as we are all in the festive spirit, I thought I would run through some of the tips I have for sending things back home whilst you're traveling. So these can be if your backpack's overflowing and you've got some lovely gifts, or it's Christmas or birthdays. Trust me when I say this, there are a lot of hacks in saving you a lot of money. If you're gonna be jaying off around the world and going somewhere exotic, then why not check out italki? We got a thanks sponsor of this video, I talk you're an amazing language learning service and you are able to sit down one-on-one -on -one with a teacher. When I did my lessons, it was just so engaging. The hour went really quickly, but I felt like so empowered and confident after it. So if that's your kind of thing, if you want your own private tutor at a really affordable price, then I talk you're giving you a buy one, go on free and the link is down below. Okay, so posting things around the world can be really expensive. I think the most I've ever paid for a parcel to go home was around $60. Now, I won't post back silly things. It's like when we went to the ice hockey match, we got a Canada jersey, really like nice one. And I decided to post that home because I didn't want to carry it around with me, but I didn't want to throw it away, obviously. So if you do want a TA backpack or it's Christmas coming up or a birthday, here are my tips. One stuff you want to send home, maybe you've been out six months, 12 months, and you've accumulated so much stuff and you're not going home yet and you just want to get rid of it, send it home via sea mail. It will take over three months to get home, but if you're on the road, it doesn't matter. I always send by sea mail. If it's not in a rush, do not send it airmail. It will literally cost you like double or triple to send it airmail. It might also work well for you to also check out other couriers, private couriers. Now normally the public postal system in a country like Australia, New Zealand, England, will generally give you the cheapest one. However, if you've got something that's really big that you're sending home, for example, going through a private courier, just contact a few. If it's something special, see what they can do for you. Okay, let's talk about things you need to get there quickly. If you've made friends with a traveler and they happen to live in your country, why not give that gift to them? And then when they go home, have it all like packaged up with the address on it. And then all they have to do, if they're nice enough to, is go to the post office. Now this is where some security issues might come in. Some border security is very harsh on whether you pack to your own stuff. So having it open, making sure your friend that you've met knows what's in it, they've seen it, they've touched it, they've packed it themselves, always better just in case they get in trouble. For example, I live in England. If I met someone who also lived in England, I could give them a gift for my mom. They're flying back in two days and they're nice enough to go to the post office, whack a stamp on it and get it sent to my mom internally. Talking of internally, this is my final tip. Cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards, Mother's Day flowers, Father's Day gifts, Christmas gifts. Do not buy them out here and send them. Now, that is the best way and I have done it. I have done it. Very personal, especially like for my mom for her birthday, I sent her a box of really meaningful stuff of like my favorite tea from New Zealand and little kiwi stuff. And it was really nice, all gift wrapped by me and the card and everything. And that's really personal and I love it. However, it can cost you a fortune. The postage will normally cost more than the actual item. So, for the love of God, send things internally. And what I mean by that is, if you're from England or the USA, then you go on, no matter where you are in the world, go onto a website from your country, pick things and send it like that. Therefore, you're not paying for international post. People, they don't think of that, like sending a card, go onto Moonpig or whatever the online card system is, in that country, not this country, that one, and then get them to send it eternally. It's so much easier and it will literally save you a fortune. Also my last tip around the Christmas season, I've probably left this video a little bit too late to be relevant for this year. Um, however, get your stuff sent early. They're doing a thing in New Zealand where they're getting cheap postage in the month of December and I didn't think countries did that. I don't think post office did that, but they're doing that here. I think that's really cool. But please get it sent early because airmail, okay, if you're sending something from here, airmail, standard, seven days to arrive. In general, in general, that's from like New Zealand, Australia to England, other side of the world. 27 and 10 days. However, at Christmas, obviously, they get really backed up, so do not leave it till the last minute. Get it sent, like, immediately. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thought I'd give you a few tips about, because it's something I've never seen a video on, 
and it's something a lot of travellers do and a lot of travellers waste a lot of money doing it. I know I have and still kind of do. But those are my tips. Those are the best ways you can save money by sending gifts back home to friends and family. Is everyone excited for this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Don't forget to subscribe, keep up to date with all my travels and get some advice as well. There's also Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all at Psycho Traveller. Links are down below and I will see you tomorrow. Because we're doing daily vlogs!